Okay, with the platform off and everything cleaned up, I can see how some of the stuff works uh, under the platform. So first of all, how does the park brake work? Well, uh, it's actually really, really simple. You've got, of course, you got the lever here, and there's a sh shaft that runs down behind the dash, and it's in two sections that are joined with a spring coupler. And uh, I think I figured out why it's like that. But anyway, all it does is move this lever up and down right here so that when you push in the brake, you just lock the service brake down. So the service brake and the park brake are really the same thing. The brake is located in the transmission or in the high stat or something. It's probably a wet disc type. So with this, with the park brake engaged, you can't, you can't just disengage it by pushing this down. And that's when the spring coupler comes into play. It, it allows it to kind of return back to its locked position. Uh, so some, probably so some kid just can't get up here and, and, and disengage the park brake. You've got to push the pedal back down, take load off it, and then you can release the park brake. So not only does the park brake engage the brake and hold the brake, but it also locks out the high stat, the forward and reverse pedals. And it does that by throwing up this feature right here up against this, uh, this bolt or this peg. That peg is actually part of the high stat. So when I push the forward pedal down, the peg moves forward or moves back when I hit reverse. When I apply the service brake, uh, this hook feature comes up, grabs this post, and then the park brake will lock it down in place. Okay, so the deck height adjustment. That is done right here. Uh, all it is, is a simple bolt. This bolt that threads in and out of this, this shaft right here. And down at the bottom is a, uh, a piece of rod that's connected to the rock shaft. So the rock shaft moves, I guess, forward and back when you raise and lower the deck. And anytime you lower the deck, it actually rocks forward. And when it rocks forward, this post here, I don't know if you can see it. There's a there's a post that comes right up into this into this bore, and it stops against this bolt. As you screw this in, the taller your grass will be. You back it out, the shorter it will be because it has more travel. So this limits the downward travel. Uh, also is the indicator, which I think is supposed to be revealed through a slot in the platform. This one wasn't visible when I took the uh, tractor apart and I see the paint's all scuffed off right there. And I think it just, at some point, it, it over-traveled, went, went farther than it was supposed to and got wedged against the platform. Or maybe the platform is dented and was pushing down on it, I'm not sure. As the rock shaft travels, travels in this slot right here and it moves this indicator forward and up. So. I thought, I assumed that when you would turn the knob, that the indicator would change and let you know where the, the height is, but it, it doesn't look like it really does that. It just moves while you're moving the deck. And then when you when you lower all the way down, that's, that's where it stops. And then that's where the indicator is in the display. So I think the idea is you have got some other visual other than just looking at the deck on the ground. You've got this visual as well um, when you're mowing. I'll try to start this thing up and show it in action. Okay, I had to do a voice over here just because of the noise from the running tractor, but here's the uh, hydraulics in action. Uh, you can see the lever from the deck moving up and down, or rather the linkage, and you can see the indicator moving forward and backwards. And then right there are the linkages for the implement valve controlled by the levers up here. They go right down through the dash and then exit out the side of the frame uh, to the valve right there and uh, run uh, hydraulic fluid to the back of the tractor through the levers there yeah right there through the back of the tractor there's a big cylinder that's a pretty good sized cylinder and so when you pull on the levers all it does is just move that cylinder back and forth um, so you could put something really heavy on the back, or I guess really heavy on the front, and it should be able to handle it. 
Uh, steering, power steering is accomplished through a steering shaft, which comes down straight down through the shaft, through the, uh, sorry, through the dash, and then down to the steering valve. Right there, you can see it steering back and forth. And then right up front is another hydraulic cylinder, and all it does is send fluid to that cylinder so that you can steer left and right. Pretty simple. That's it.